Smile and learn. Here's a riddle, Smiley. What is it that all living beings have gone through and that none of us can remember? Oh, I know this one. Our birth. Very good. It's fascinating how we go from being a microscopic thing to a person. Or, well, seals like you. <laughs> Today we're going to learn how human life begins. To understand this, we need to talk about the three stages of human reproduction. Fertilization, pregnancy, and birth. Let me tell you about all of them. Fertilization. It all begins when a sperm from the man's body joins with an egg from the woman's body. This union is called fertilization and takes place in the woman's reproductive system. For this to happen, sexual intercourse must take place. This is when the man's body expels millions of sperm cells through semen. Only one sperm cell will manage to penetrate the egg's membrane. One in a million! Incredible, isn't it? And before reaching the egg, the sperm must complete a great challenge. First, it passes through the vagina, then the uterus, and finally it reaches the fallopian tubes where the egg is. When the sperm enters the egg, the zygote forms. The zygote is a cell that has all the information necessary to create a new human being. It must travel to the wall of the uterus to implant itself, which is why this process is called implantation. All of this happens in less than a week. Pregnancy When the zygote implants itself in the uterus, the second stage of reproduction begins. It lasts approximately 40 weeks, or about 9 months. During the pregnancy, the human being gradually forms inside the mother. The first thing that happens is that the zygote begins to divide. The number of cells increases and becomes an embryo. So many changes, right? Well, they've only just begun. Let's look at the development of pregnancy by trimester. First trimester. During the first trimester, the arms, legs, and main organs grow. At eight weeks, the embryo is called a fetus and is about four inches long. To give you an idea, at this point, it's about the size of a pear. Second trimester. In the second trimester, the fetus can move Nerve reflexes appear, and we can identify the sex, or if it's a boy or a girl. It can be up to 11 inches long, almost like a large eggplant. Third trimester. In the last trimester, the fetus grows very quickly as it prepares for birth. It can be up to 20 inches long and weigh around 6 pounds. Do you know how the fetus gets food during pregnancy?
Nope, not through the mouth, not yet. It gets nutrition through the placenta. The placenta is responsible for transporting nutrients and oxygen to the baby through the mother's blood. It is a vital organ as it keeps the fetus alive until birth. The placenta is connected to the fetus by a tube called the umbilical cord. When the baby is born, the cord is cut and a small scar remains on the newborn. Can you guess what that scar is? Of course, it's the belly button. I'm sure you already knew that. Birth. The last stage of reproduction is birth. Birth begins when the fetus is about to be born. The mother begins to feel movements inside her body called contractions, which push the baby out through the vagina. Not all babies are born vaginally. In some cases, because of complications, they may be delivered by C-section, an operation that involves making an incision in the mother's abdominal wall to remove the baby. Now you know how human life begins. From a tiny cell to a baby ready to be born. It takes more than nine months of teamwork between the mother and the baby. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.